We're going to look at uh, weather and traffic. I know you've been dealing with so much with trees and power lines coming down, and it's really because of the high wind gusts this morning. It's awful this morning. Oh, and what a mess. And on top of that, the wet roads are wet, which is never a good thing for people to be out. We still have a burst of snow in Carroll County. It's showing up around Westminster. They've had a light coating out there, mostly on grassy surfaces, not as much on the roadways. But throughout the metro, the roads are wet because of this mixture. And we're seeing this uh, continue more of a sloppy mix to the eastern shore as sleet and rain. That will continue at least for the next few hours. By about 10 this morning, a lot of that is clearing out. Temperatures, though, at least above freezing, which again really helps the roadways from getting snow covered. Uh, we're just seeing mostly it on the grass out towards Carroll and Baltimore counties. 36 degrees though at the airport, a really cold feel with these high winds. You're getting gusts over 40 miles per hour now uh, over BWI, Martin State Airport, out towards DC. And as the winds pick up even more, even out towards Northeast Maryland, we'll continue to have ongoing damage and power outages building gusts throughout the day to 60 miles per hour. That's typically what we see during a severe thunderstorm, except this is happening all day long on and off and so that's why you're going to have that building damage. Uh, we will see uh, still some gusty winds through tonight could get gusts to about 50 miles per hour. Eventually things do start to calm down as we go through the weekend. The eastern shore though may get one last burst of snow showers this evening. Over the weekend at least it improves. Still pretty gusty on Saturday so not the most comfortable day to be out. Sunday looks to be a much nicer day with lighter winds and sunshine and it looks nice and sunny Monday before rain returns into the middle of the week and it may take time for the power outages to improve. It's so windy out there it's not even safe for the crews to be out in full force. And it's one of those mornings where there's so many variables. When we mm -hmm. were driving to work it wasn't really wet out yet and now it's to the point where you're holding on to the wheel and you're shifting into the other lane because of the wind, but there are so many more cars out there now. So uh, we're not talking so much about slowdowns and volume today. We're focusing on what issues are out there. Down trees, that's a big issue, and we've seen dozens of reports. Some in our area, southbound 29 approaching Green Castle, Green Castle Tree. The right lane is blocked there in Burtonsville for that down tree. Also in Millersville, all lanes are still blocked. West Benfield Road at Pixie Drive, and we've seen a lot more reports of down trees, so keep your eyes peeled. Mark Train has suspended all service today due to this. They said they've seen some down trees on the tracks as well as some signals being out. Speaking of signals in the city, we've seen a bunch of reports of traffic lights out. So remember, if you see a traffic light that's out, treat it as a four way stop. There are wind restrictions in place for our area bridges, so 40 miles per hour. You can see some flashing lights in the distance alerting people here on the key bridge and no empty box trailers or anything like that. The Bay Bridge actually has closed the center lane eastbound uh, just to keep things a little bit safer. So two of the lanes will be open. The center one will be closed. Also some accidents in the area. Westbound uh, is blocked on Liberty Road at Offutt Road um, just west of the Beltway down to about 26 miles per hour. So overall a lot to deal with uh, as we have higher volume in the area on the roads. You're feeling those wind gusts. Hopefully they're not pushing you into the lane next to you. So use caution. Slower speeds on area bridges. Some uh, lights out in the area and a lot of down trees. We keep seeing those reports in Montgomery County. We've seen over a dozen and these trees mm -hmm. are blocking the entire road in both directions so it's a little bit treacherous out there. Yep and uh, this will be ongoing through the day uh, improvement a little bit by tomorrow and then much more by Sunday. <laughs>